see that? And we're just gonna add some potatoes to that. Y'all see that smoke coming off of there? This is Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness Is Not A Game, welcoming you to today's In The Kitchen with Crystal segment. What's going on? So if you are here with me, say hey, let me know that you're here, let me know where you're watching from. Of course, let me know if you have your water. Take a drink of water with me. Also, if you're watching on the replay, do me a favor and type replay in the comments so that I know that you came back and watch. Even if you're on replay, I want you to engage, participate, ask your questions because I'll come back and answer them in t way. All right? So I see my folks are here uh, today. What are we doing today? I decided I'm going to use the same, let's see how many ingredients I have. One, two, three, four. One, two, four ingredients. Four ingredients to make two different types of meals, all right? And it's crazy because they're basically, you see, you're like, this is the same ingredients, but it's really about how you present it, how you play it in, determine how you perceive it as whether you eat the same things over and over again and you get super bored, or if you're like, oh, okay, this is another way that I can uh, have it and still enjoy it and still stay on track, all right? So what do I have today? What are the ingredients? The seasonings. Don't mind now. I just brought them all out because I never know what I'm going to feel like using. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm. I told y'all, I don't work from um, too many recipes. Every once in a while I bring you a recipe, but typically I am cooking as my ancestors tell me to. They, so they whisper over my shoulder and say, girl, grab that. And then sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, that's enough. So that's what I typically do. All right. So I got all my seasons, but the base ingredients would be potatoes things that folks like and chicken i had my chicken uh the frosting but then we're also because we have to have our veggies we have our green veggies our broccoli but because we also like color need color to keep us engaged make the food exciting and add extra flavors i have my colorful mini peppers uh baby peppers for that and then how much do I cook without my onion? And I told y'all, this is my kitchen, so we're going to use up this little bit of onion I got first. I'm not about to waste nothing, 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 nothing. And that's it. And we'll have two different meals that are going to be yummy and ready to go. All right. So what are we going to do first? First, we're going to get these potatoes on because we know that potatoes can take a while to cook. So we're going to cut up our potatoes. We're going to cut up our um vegetables and then we'll go over to our meats and you're like what this meat can take a while too not the way we're going to do it because this is the thing we want to make meal prep quick and simple there's no need for it to take a long time and all of that good stuff because that is part of the reason why people get uh deterred from doing it so no we're gonna do it quick so the first thing i'm gonna do is wrench out these potatoes yes and i tell y'all if y'all don't have y'all a scrubber a kitchen scrubber get you one they are bad. They are everything. Make sure you get all that extra dirt, grime, and cook off. And so the trick with the potatoes to get them to cook quickly, you're going to cut them into small pieces um, so that they'll quickly cook a little bit faster. All right, I thought about making some mashed potatoes today, and I was like, eh. And I don't want to do that because with mashed potatoes, we tend to add so many different uh, things to it that can make them... Um, start sliding to the unhealthy side. We got our, um, you know, almond milk is cool, but we got our, our butter, the sour cream possibly, and all that stuff. And I didn't want to, I didn't really want to do that. So I said, let's just do roasted potatoes. Well, I smothered potatoes, whatever you want to So I'm starting by just cutting them pretty small. All right. I got my music today, y'all. All right, so I just slice them and then I go back and Cross cut them to make little squares. So by the time I'm done, they are about this size. Makes them quicker, easier to cook. So I'm only using, uh, I honestly could have just used two potatoes because realistically, let's be real, um, when you're cooking uh, something like these red onions for those size, the size of them, you should only have one per. But I like having extra, because I'm going to be real, I'm going to have potatoes for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm getting it done now. Blah, blah, blah. Meal prepping, right? 
Uh, and I'm only doing lunch and dinner today on in the kitchen. So I figured I may as well get ahead of the curve and go ahead and get these uh, potatoes for breakfast ready. All right. So we do not, we do not, we do not make potatoes without the onion. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Well, actually with this, I'm going to cut up the rest of this whole thing. Because that is what gives the flavor. Dice this up a little bit. Just cut that in half. And chop it, chop it, chop it. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. I'm going to get all of this onion. All right. Uh, tell me, you know what? And I wanted to make sure I did potatoes. Because people are so afraid of eating carbs. Let me know if you have been afraid of eating carbs on your quest for healthier living. Because I know a lot of people are. And I'll tell y'all this. When I say I love the potato, all's the potatoes. So that's why I wanted to uh, make some today to show you that eating potatoes and carbs are okay. It's not bad. It's okay. All right. So I got my skillet. Make sure you get a pan with a top because the steam is what's going to make them cook quicker. Again, we're doing quick, y'all. We're doing quick. We're doing quick. We're not trying to spend a whole bunch of time. So what else I do to save on calories and fat, instead of using the butter, I use a nonstick. And I'm like, why don't you get some skillet? Let me show you in a minute. <laughs> oh, we know the stuff. So once I get them in, I'm going to slide these on up in here. Mm -hmm. Then, that's all up in there. Then I get my seasonings. Got to have pepper. I love my pepper on my potatoes. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Oh, Day. Yeah, come on with it. Got my onions in there, so I'm going to throw a little bit of Tony Saturdays in there. Just for a little bit of flavor. Just a little bit. And then this is what I do, y'all. To make sure the seasons are distributed evenly. Put the top on and I shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. And then it also helps you to distribute everything more evenly in the pan. Then I put it on. And then I'm going to hit it, get it up high. I'm turning it up how to get that heat going in there. Let it start steaming, steaming, steaming. And then I'll turn it down and then just let it simmer that way. All right. Now we're going to get these uh, peppers together. So you always want to do your vegetables first, any slicing of your vegetables first. So you can use the same board. Let me get the bowl for my peppers. So we're doing, remember we said we're doing, um, actually I'm going to get two different bowls. We're making, using the same ingredients to present it in two different ways. So that's why I want two different bowls because we're going to cut our peppers in two different ways. All right, guys. Rinse off these peppers. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see. I'm, I'm picky. I want to make sure I got all the colors. Red, yellow. Um, Y'all hear that sting? Y'all hear it? Let me get a little bit on. I like a little crunch. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I guess that's good enough. Nah, fam, I like a little bit more. I like a little bit more. Grab me another red. All right. Now we're going to rinse these off. All right. So rinse the nose. Turn down these tables. Now I'm not going to turn it all the way to a simmer. A, a low heat. Because we do want them to cook fast. We ain't got time for it cooking all day. All right. So I got my peppers. All right, so for my bigger long ones, you know what? Let me see how big I can get an orange. Bam! Let me switch that up. Let me grab this orange one. Because I want long ones because for these, some of these peppers, so I need to put There we go. I can put you back. All right, so for the long ones, I'm going to cut these into strips. All right. So y'all see, look. We got strips. Red, yellow, and orange. Put them on the side in their bowl. And then for the other ones, the smaller peppers, no one even bags anymore. But I will tell you, that's a shame. You guys, you say, uh, have fun with them. They do all laugh at me because what y'all see 
with me cooking on here is the mild version of how I am when I cook when, when I'm not on camera. I'll act the fool when I cook. I have fun. Uh, but with these smaller ones, what we're going to do, we're going to dice these up. Well, make them into chunks. So not, um, not strips per se. We're going to get these strips. We're going to start with strips, but then cut them up. All right. So I made strips, and now I'm just going to make these. And I'm not going to make them super small. Just about the same size. Let's pretend a little bit. See? I'm fed in you. Hey. And it also, uh, I, I have to be mindful of my musical choices on here. I can't say that all my music is for public kids. All right. So now we have our two different types of peppers ready. We have our strips and we have our chops. All right. Bam. Let's get this out the way. Get that out the way. So we don't even need this no more. Potatoes, make sure my potatoes is cooking. Turn that heat up a little bit. All right, clean out the way. Wash your hands. Next up, oh, yeah. this we're gonna get this broccoli out the bag too. So I have a steamable broccoli that I could just throw in the microwave. Um, but I don't want that. We're gonna cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it. So let me go ahead and get it out the bag, put it in the bowl. Then we're gonna get this chicken together. Hey. Oh yeah. Ooh, those are some nice big florets. Y'all see that? I'm excited. That's a shame. They laugh at me. They're like, you really get excited over food. And don't be judging me. I love food. <laughs> Let me ask y'all this. Tell me who loves food and who feels that food is just uh, for nutritional purposes and that it shouldn't have to be as much of an experience because I've been told I've, I've been judged in my household because I look at food as an experience the whole different ingredients, the different flavors the different, uh, the, the, what we see, all of it so I get excited and I am one of those I plan out my meals <laughs> breakfast, lunch, or dinner, days in advance I can taste what I want when I want it. And then I know other folks who just say, well, I didn't eat whatever. Come on, fam. We gonna, I'm going to enjoy my food. Uh, yes, I am. So all I got here is two chicken breasts. Uh, bone, uh, what's that? Boneless, skinless. Got a little extra fat. I'm going to trim the fat. Did y'all used to watch uh, Biggest Loser? I used to hate when they used to, uh, the very, very beginning of the show when they first started, whenever somebody would get cut, they gonna say, we're gonna trim the fat. I was like, how do I roll that sensitive is that? Like, what the heck? Ooh. All right, so we're gonna cut this. Um, we are going to cut these chicken up differently. Hey, ooh. Your heart don't stand a chance. Come on now. All right, so what we're gonna do if you can guess based on what we did with those uh, peppers, we're going to cut these chicken. One is going to be in chunks. The other is going to be in strips. Come on now. Your heart don't stand a chance. Hey. So if anybody, based on the lyrics of what I've been quoting, does anybody know who, who I'm listening to? Can anybody guess? Hey. It's my dude. All right, so I'm just making chunks of chicken. And another reason why I do chunks and strips is because what? It helps it cook faster. Hey, and you know for sure that it's cooked. So that's one thing. I remember back there, I was like, okay, I can't eat everybody's chicken because everybody don't cook their chicken all the way through now. Let's keep it real. But now I got my chunks, doing my strips. Hey. Hey. All right, so can y'all see that? Strips and chunks. I'm going to wrench my hands off. We'll wash them. This ain't no ranch. When you are doing it with raw meats, you got to wash. Like for real, for real, wash. All right, so now I'm about to have fun seasoning my chicken. Oh, 
Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let mm, 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 mm. some of my favorite seasons out. So I'm just going to play around with these his seeds. I think one of them, yeah, since it's like strippy, the strips, I'm going to make those a Chipotle. Yeah. Yeah. Make that, make that Mexican. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Let me give me a bowl. I need some more bowl. My kids going to be like, hey, you mama, why you use so many bowls? Mind your business and wash them. Throw them in the dishwasher. They ain't got to cook. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm about to do. Cause we about to mix this stuff up. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I love calling audibles in the middle of. Mm, mm. We about to have some fun with this. Wash these hands again. Wash these hands while I touch this seasoning. Right. So we're doing the strips. And then. Do I even, I don't know if I want the chicken to be Cajun. The grit for the chunks. I'm not even going to do Cajun because I do, <laughs> I do uh, Cajun a lot. So I have this, uh, my stepmom put me up on this Greek seasoning. And I like it. It just adds a different type of flavor. So I'm adding that to my chunks. And you know what? Let me go ahead and get the fire going. What are we going to do with this? Wait till you see what we're going to do that. All right, uh, what else am I going to add? Garlic powder is always good. Mm -hmm. The ancestors like garlic powder. Just putting a little bit on the, on the, uh, the, uh, the text maximum. Uh, let's see. Do I want anything else? Poultry seasoning. Because it's poultry. Why not? I'm going to say, why not? We like to play with seasonings. And then I think I want a little bit more of that Cajun though. That Southwest. That's called a Cajun. That ain't Cajun in Southwest. Alright. Um, let's see. I think that's it on that. Oh, y'all hear that? I know y'all can't. Drink some water, y'all. Once I saw we had some water. Oh, I already turned the heat on. I'm so busy dancing and singing and, and things. I forgot I turned it on. Of course, we use my olive oil. And the order in which we're going to do this might throw you off, but we're going to do the veggies first. So the broccoli is frozen. Hey, you know what? People dying for less I hear. He ain't saying people, but I don't say people. <laughs> hey. Broccoli in first because it's frozen. Y'all hear that sizzle? So actually, I'm gonna do them individually. So this would be for the chunks first. Sure, make it for the chunks. Why not? Now this one we're about to play with some more seasoning. Yeah. That's what people are like. What seasons do you use? No, no. Whatever I grab and whatever I see, <laughs> I'm keeping it real. But that's the thing, y'all. It doesn't have to be cooking. Does not have to be so structured and normal and yada yada. No, oh, man. Just play around with it, have fun, all that good stuff. I need this. Yes. Freddie always like, he calls, he calls me the devil because he says, well, stop to think the because could be different. But I can, you know, reach in the pot and change it. And he's like, how are you touching that? How are your fingers not burning off? And it's so dramatic. I'm like, dude, it ain't that bad. It's, it's temporary pain. When you had two children that weighed over eight pounds each naturally, you look at pain a little 
little differently. You know what I'm saying? Look at it a little differently. Oh, yeah. So this is another thing. So I cut them up because the smaller they are, the quicker they cook, right? And we are trying to save time because nobody has a whole bunch of extra time, right? There we go. And I'm going to be a little bit over my 30 today, but that's all right. It's possible. It's possible I might be a few minutes over, but we're going to get this thing going and good. So I start with the broccoli first, just because it was frozen. If it was fresh, you wouldn't have to do that. But this is what I'm going to do. So we're doing chunky chunks first. Oh, shoot. Stir this up. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to stir up my chicken. Get all them flavors up in here. Why y'all didn't tell me I didn't mix that thing up? That's the whole reason why I used the bowl. No. Y'all supposed to have my back. Nobody said, Crystal, you ain't stir up the chicken. You ain't get that seasoning on everything. Goodness. Watch y'all have my back. All right. So we're going to throw these chunks in here. Tables are starting to smell really good. And then we're also going to go ahead and throw the chunks of the peppers in here. Oh, child. Can y'all see that? Y'all see these colors? Look at the colors, y'all. Man, I'm gonna give some heat. Get this stuff good. Smell these potatoes going. Mm, mm. And you know what, honestly, y'all, with the vegetables and the chicken, all these vegetables, you really don't even need, and that's why I part of why I'm gonna do it, you don't even need a lot of uh, potatoes. We tend to overstuff our servings with our starches. And while starches, you need all your carbs for your energy, sometimes you can overdo it. If you have too much, your body can break down. That's when it turns into fat cells, right? So instead, I want you to do like this. See, mainly vegetables and protein, and we're going to add a little carbs in there. And you know, and still enjoy them, but you don't have to do them uh, and over the time. All right. Mm -hmm. I have two containers. I have my circular container. And then I have my section off rectangular one. Because I like this one. Because I use, let me stop. I like to use the smaller section for my carbs, right? So it gives you an eyeball of how much you should have because a lot of times, like I said, people will overload, overload, overload. Excuse me, but no, we use this for our carbs and we use the bigger section for our protein and our veggies, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. If y'all don't know, he has a song with Layla Hathaway. Hey. Come on now. Oh, I wish I could turn it up for y'all. I had a real deal cooking party. But I ain't got time to be getting in trouble with y'all big brother. That's what I don't have. Ooh. But you best believe when we are done, I'm going to be played and blasted. <laughs> I can tell you that. Because what we also don't want to do is overcook the chicken. Nobody likes tough chicken. Mm -mm. Nope. But having it in these chunks allows it to cook a lot faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, these peppers smelling the broccoli cooking. Oh, child. You better come with it. Yeah, that part is done. Get our bowl, turn the 
seed on. Uh, these are I don't think I need any more seeds. Man. But just in case, you never know what the ancestors might whisper over my shoulder. Like, sprinkle a little bit, mama. So, oh yeah, yes I do. So I gotta do my second batch of broccoli. Yeah, I So y'all see that? And we're just going to add potatoes to that. Y'all see that smoke coming off of that? Yes. So, so tell me that doesn't look amazing. And wait till we add the potatoes. Woo! Yes. Y'all label about to hit it. Oh, my gosh. The red is in the vicinity, y'all. All right. Get my... Oils. Now, what we're going to do with this one, we're going to do this a little different. They're the same to us, y'all. We're going to cook them all at the same time because we got strips, right? So, let me actually, I'm going to cook, I'm going to pick these smaller broccoli. Make the ones that are already small. And because they've been sitting out, they're not as frozen, so I can chop them up before I put them in here. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know I like vegetables, so we're going to put all this in here. And I'm going to cook the rest of them later. Just don't need to do it right now. Yes, y'all know who the rat is. Joy, I got you. Yours is on the way. All right. Uh, for the broccoli. Just gonna put a little bit of seasoning on here. Um, I like, I love onion herb and garlic and herb on my vegetables. But, oh, I know what else I'm adding on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having too much fun, y'all. My tomato, basil, and garlic. Ooh, that's another one I like. Oh, 
all on my own. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Oh, I love it. I'm here for it. Check on these potatoes. Drink some water, y'all. And check y'all comments too. Hold on, y'all. Let me check these potatoes. Oh, yeah, they are cooking. Heat up a little hot. <laughs> so precious. Turn these up a while ago. Ooh. All right. Hold on, y'all. We about to lose power. But guess what? We here. We here. We back. And we lose no power. <sighs> Look here, y'all know this is a real live show. A whole real live show. All right. You got a sword? Yep, I got a sword. Food is done. Woo! Woo! Chai. 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 <laughs> All right. Get these vegetables in here. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Up here trying to give myself a heart attack, y'all. Got me running and sweating. Ooh, chai. Ooh, chai. Oh, what? You know what? Ooh. I'm going to do the broccoli and the potatoes together. Yeah, Fred, Fred, stop it. <laughs> she gave me that black woman look, y'all. All right. What y'all see over here? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the chicken and the uh, peppers together. I don't know why I keep grabbing these tops and the broccoli. Now what we're going to do these potatoes, we're going to add them to each, and I'm going to show you what with that too. I told you I cooked the rest of these potatoes. <laughs> ah, but that's life. Such is life. So I'm just scooping a little bit of potato on here. Mm -hmm. And then scoop a little bit. In here with the broccoli. Bam. All right. So now, actually, y'all see that? So now we got us a little broccoli potato. Uh oh, just keep dropping stuff. Broccoli potato. Mm -hmm. But it's my jam on this one. Like, most people do like a, a rice stir fry mix. We're gonna do it with potatoes. Up. Oh, need a fork to taste. See that? Oh my. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Somebody said taste. Y'all better get your friend. Oh. Mm. I want a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's good. Especially some peppers. Some broccoli. Mmm, it's gonna be great. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Where the pepper? Let's they get a little pepper in. I got everything. Mm. Yeah, let's see about that. Mm -hmm. That's what they was waiting on. They, they were not. <laughs> they were not. Y'all stop setting me in your mouth. They want to know. <laughs> so now we're going to taste the scripts. Mm. Look, oh, that is good. Look at that. Y'all see all that juice? Look at that. You see that juice Ooh. at the bottom of the container? Mmm. Mmm. That's flavor. Because I don't want to. Ooh. I'm just. Oh my goodness. This smells good. Mmm. 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 Got the potato. Got a little crunch. Why you keep forking? Go away. How I see is the fork just comfy doing that. That ain't how you the, taste them. The second bite is always better. That was like your seven. Where was my favorite? Lies. Go away. What was that with her? You gotta bite that in half. Wait, wait. <laughs> this y'all doing. Let me see. Mm. I had a two year old. Don't be biting on You're my food. You're not about to eat up all my food. My food. Hmm. That's yours. There you go. I need some red. Uh, you need some pepper. Oh, red pepper. Mm. Mm. You I almost like poked me. I like that. Good. Mm. So y'all. Yeah. This run, this gonna be goody. I'm done, y'all. Sorry for the technical <laughs> difficulties. 
<laughs> but at the end of the day, y'all, just want to show y'all how you can make two different two different types of meals by using the same ingredients. Give you different. I may change the seasonings on the um, chicken here, on the, with the chicken. But other than that, everything else was the same. Quick and simple. Took me a long. Y'all you know it always takes me a while. I'm dancing, singing, and fighting off rats and stuff, and talking, yapping, running my mouth. But with just cooking, you can get it done in less than thirty. All right, y'all. Yeah, let's drink a little more water before we go. Again, let me know when you try it. Let me know what variations you tried with your flavors, your seasonings, um, your ratios, all that good stuff. But again, don't run from potatoes, but also don't overload your meals with them either. Now, sweet potatoes are just a whole bunch of complex fibers and all that good stuff. However, we do still need our carbs for energy, so don't run from them. Use them to your advantage and use them, eat them sparingly. So you see how I just add a little bit. This Excuse me, maybe what? Half a cup of potatoes? You know, you don't have to have a cup and a half of them, you know. We like them, but when you add in, y'all see all these big, I'm looking at this big old hole in my bowl. <laughs> but fill it in, use the uh, potatoes and your grains and stuff as your fillers. Like mainly, your main dish should consist of the proteins, your veggies, especially Get your greens, multi, multiple colors, and then put your carbs in there. All right? Make sure you're getting half your body weight in ounces of water each day. Your body is made up of 70, 80% worth of water. It needs it to operate. All right, now we're going to science. I'm going to let y'all go because I'm holding y'all way longer than I typically uh, do and then I plan to. But I enjoyed y'all so much. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next week. It's fun.